Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. And if you're planning your first ever safari, man, how exciting is that? I have many answers to many questions. If you want to reach out and, and feel free to ask, I would not mind helping you out. But today, if I can give you one bit of advice, if you have not yet been on safari, and this is your first safari experience, my advice to you would be to set and hold realistic expectations. And the reason why I say this is I come from quite a lengthy lodge-based guide background. I used to guide in the Sabi Sands and areas like the Timbavati here in South Africa for many years. And so often we would get guests arriving on their first safari not having an idea on what to expect when they're out in the wilds of Africa. And this scene coming up now, for example, is something that so many people want to see. A lioness carrying her baby from one den site to another to, to ensure their safety is something that is truly special and really something you do not get to see too often out in the field. I mean, I had to wait seven years, well, seven and a half years, to see this for the very first time. And this was the first and only time I saw something like this. Because the homework that people do when they are at home before they embark on their first safari is they watch documentaries on Natural Geographic or the Discovery Channel or the BBC, whatever it may be. That rhymes. <laughs> but this is, it's, it's wrong because a lot of the time people don't put it into context and they don't realize how much time these cinema, uh, cinematographers and videographers put in the field. They spend months by themselves, three, four months by themselves out in the middle of the field just to put together a 30 minute documentary. And then people will jump on your safari vehicle and ask you as the guide, hey Mike, where are the lions carrying their babies? Where are the lions hunting buffalo? And usually my response would be, I would turn around to my guests and, and respond and I'd say, Tim, Harry, Martha, whatever their names were, I don't know. If I did know, I would have been there, I promise you. And that's the beauty about Africa. It's, you're always expecting the unexpected. And if you go into a safari experience without having set these ridiculously high expectations, there's almost nothing that'll get you down. Because everything that then comes your way and presents itself is super special um, and you will appreciate it a lot more. So yes, do your homework, know what type of species you're going to see in the area, read up on certain behaviors and kind of get your imagination going and your hopes flowing. But do not come in wanting to see lions hunting buffalo and then leopard hunting impala and then and then and then. Because the more of these unrealistic expectations you have, the greater the chances are that you are not going to enjoy your experience. So rather come in fresh, come in with low expectations, and everything that then happens is going to be a bonus. I hope this helps. And yeah, if you are planning your first safari and you are about to head out one day soon, I hope you enjoy it. It's a special experience. And yeah, as I mentioned, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I'll gladly assist you. Have a great day further. Chat soon. Bye-bye.